So name of the reading is prices, discount factors, and arbitrage. This reading is an extension of uh, the fixed income readings that we have seen in financial markets and products. It has got uh, a more in-depth coverage of valuation of bonds. So we will spend 15 minutes in doing basics, and then we will start answering learning outcomes. So first, how do you value a simple coupon bond? So let us say we have a bond with face value of 1000, coupon of 10%, YTM of 15% and let us say maturity of 5 years. If we assume that this bond is an annual compounding bond, let's do the valuation together on your calculator. 1000 should be future value, 100 should be payment. 15 should be IY and 5 should be N. So the valuation of the bond would be 832. But if we decide or if we assume that the bond will have a semi annual compounding, then 1000 would be future value. Now this time payment should be 50. IY should be IY should be 7.5 and, and N should be 10. And then we will compute present value. 820. Are we okay here? In case if you are struggling with this, let me write down the keys. If it was an annual valuation, then on the Texas instrument calculators, face value should be 1000. Payment is going to be 100. N is going to be 5. IY is going to be 15 and then we will compute present value. If it is semi annual, future value is still 1000, but the payment becomes half of that amount. N is double, IY should be half of original IY, and then we will compute present value. Is that fine? The next concept, this is very interesting is the concept of zero coupon bond. So let us say we have a bond whose market value is 400, whose face value is 1000 and maturity is 10 years. So what it means is that at time zero, we have to invest how much? 400 and at time 10, we will receive back how much? 1000. If we assume semi-annual compounding, if we assume semi-annual compounding, let me write down the keys for you. Set your calculator present value equal to minus 400. Future value should be 1000. N should be 20. And then we will compute IY, which would be 9 point IY. Yeah, so 9.37, half of that. How much is the IY? 68. And then your YTM would be 4.68 multiplied by 2. Are we okay? Then next concept is of valuation of bond using spot rates. And what we know is that the respective cash flow should be discounted with respective spot rate. So if you have a bond like this, face value 1000, coupon rate 10%, maturity 3 years, and we have spot rate of year 1, 2, 3, let's say 10, 12 and 15%. Then the valuation of the bond would be 100 plus 100 plus 1100. First 100 we will discount at the rate of 10% for one year. 12% for 2 year and 15% for 3 years. How much? Assuming you've written this. Next concept is that a YTM of a zero coupon bond, YTM of a zero coupon bond is same as spot rate for given maturity. 
right so when you take ytm of the particular bond it is similar to the spot rate for that particular given maturity do you agree with this have we done this part earlier so now the new concept which is introduced in the reading it is called stripping stripping sulte hi khush ho gaye ab so let us say we have a bond it's a coupon bond with a face value of 1000 let us say coupon rate is 10% and maturity is 3 years okay now we have a spot rate schedule available so spot rate is let us say 8% i'm intentionally keeping larger gaps 10% and 12% so how do we value the regular coupon bond the valuation is going to be 100 this time save all the steps 1 plus 8% rest to 1 100 divided by 1 plus 10% rest to 2 Then hundred again divided by one plus twelve percent raised to three, and then one thousand divided by one point one two raised to three. So how much is this value coming out to be? Ninety two point five nine. And how much is this value? Six four. No, no. Hundred divided by one point one two raised to three, seventy one point one seven, and this should be seven double one point seven. What is the total of these four? All the nine fifty eight. So this is the value of the bond. Are we okay? Now what activities these strippers do in the market? these are typically large ticket size bond dealers they will buy these bonds in the market and then break down this bond into multiple zero coupon bonds so they will go to the investor and they will tell them we are willing to sell you a one year zero coupon bond one year zero coupon bond the face value of the bond is 100 and the market value of the bond is 92.59 then to this investor they will sell a 2 year zero coupon bond this investor a 3 year zero coupon bond and again this would be a 3 year zero coupon bond so when they sell them at these prices how much money will they collect from the investor 958 do you agree they will collect 958 from the investor and the same 958 would be used to buy these bonds from the government correct and then at the end of year 1 how much coupon will you receive how much coupon will you receive 100 this coupon will be used to pay off the first bond holder then year 2 you will receive this coupon it would be used to pay off the second bond holder the third bond holder and this would be used to pay off the fourth bond holder so what you did is you converted a regular coupon bond into multiple zero coupon bonds are you following this and the first three bonds here 1 2 3 these are referred to as c strips or coupon strips and the last one here is referred to as the principal strip the query that is being asked what is the profit to the dealer So instead of selling at ninety two, he might sell at a price of ninety three. He might sell at a price of eighty three. He might sell at seventy two, and he might sell at seven one two. So he will charge a small spread on each of the bond. Have you understood stripping? Yes, Rohit. Next concept is bond quotation conventions. So. a bond might be quoted as 92 dash 6 
so the convention is that it is always quoted in the 30 seconds of the value so 926 means that the bond price is 92 plus 6 by 32 percentage of the face value 6 by 32 is how much 0.187 so 92.187 percentage of whatever is the face value of the bond so if the face value of the bond is uh, 1000 then it would be quoted the market price of the bond would be 921 it is 92.187 percentage of the bond price if the bond price is quoted as 107 let us say 16 then it would be 107 plus 0.5 so that would be 107.5 percentage of bond price if it is quoted as 95 3 plus then it would be 95 plus three and a half divided by 32 how much is three and a half divided by 32 point one zero nine three percentage so when you add that plus sign that's half of a tick which means if it is three plus it means three point five So the bond market price is 92.187% of the face value. The bond market price is 107.5% of the face value and 95.1093% of the face value. Yeah, so this bond is a premium bond and these two are discount bonds.